Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. Uh, so, all right. Taking a little bit of a break from the random contagion mod. Um, I will go back to that at some point. I want to play it properly and not just the void corruptions, which I probably want to re-explore too. But uh, today, basically, very simple. You read the title. Chance shrines are... Uh, or chests are chance shrines now. Um, and that's, that's it, basically. Um, <laughs> I'm going to try to keep track of the most I'll get scammed here. So I think... I forget what the rates are for chance shrines. Yeah, look at all these. I forget what the rates are. I think it's like a 45% chance to get nothing, or it's 45% chance to get an item. It's one of those. Um, but we will keep track of how much I get scammed to today, because I imagine I'm going to get scammed quite a bit, right? Hmm. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> this is real fucking nice. Hope everyone's doing all right. Enjoying their... Uh, what What the hell is today? Today's Wednesday? Ugh. Fucking Wednesday, dude. It doesn't, like... <laughs> it makes no difference to me. Man, my life is so fucking... It's stupidly easy. It's not fair. Like, I woke up at 1.30 p.m. today... Isn't that fucking crazy? That's that's ridiculous. I, I, I we should not be doing that. We don't act like that. <laughs> I'm Mario again. I absolutely am Mario again. Mario is the best survivor in Risk of Brain 2. Top of all of the tier lists. Look at that. Oh yeah. Mario's my fucking guy. I woke up at 3 p.m.? Holy shit. I've been there, man. <laughs> I wonder what my PB is for waking up late. Everybody type in chat your, your personal best. Like, what is the latest you've ever woken up? Man, I wonder what mine is. It's probably, like... Fucking... 7 p.m. I would say 10 p.m. <laughs> that's that's some degenerate shit. Yo, Pilver, welcome to Grandchild, my friend. Enjoy your new emotes and having your name at the end of my videos. God bless. 17:30. What the hell? Turn this down a little bit. A little loud. Using military time? What the hell? Stop it. We don't act like that. <laughs> it was a rough summer. Yeah, what's... The, okay, so here's a follow-up question. What is the longest you've ever been without sleep? Um... I think for me, it was probably... I want to say like 48 hours... Um, it was when I did a 24-hour stream. It was, like, one of those. Because I stayed up for 24 hours to stream, obviously, and then, I like, I could not sleep for the life of me. Uh, I remember it got really bad, and I started hallucinating. I started seeing shit. And I, I get really paranoid when I'm tired. I don't know if anyone else has that, but, like... Like, I think, like, shit's coming after me, or I think, like, bugs are crawling on me. Sakira, welcome to Grandchild. Enjoy your emotes and, uh, and your new grandfather. 37 hours? Damn. I imagine, uh, being in college, you can, uh, you can probably put in some, some hours, right? Cramming. That's the worst. Like, staying up late and having to, like, do shit while you stay up? Ugh, kill me. All right, man, <laughs> I'm just now realizing how much money this is going to take to do these. I'm going to get a lot of items here and it'll be worth, but uh, holy shit, <laughs> this, is, this might take a bit. If I want to full clear every stage, 
I'm going to be here a while. Uh, what do we got back there? That's a backup mag printer. I don't know about that. Ugh. Okay, there goes everything. Better get some Book of Gormans. Absolutely. You got to get the Book of Gorman. Dude, Mario's head is so fucking massive. I cannot see where I'm shooting. Like... <laughs> Oh, nice. Ooh. All right, that's a pretty good shrine. Ooh, we got a speed printer. Um, I think scrappers can still spawn. Printers obviously can. Okay, we got some dole. And I think void kratos can also spawn. I think it's just chests here. I remember when I was in school, there's a kid that tried to convince me he just didn't sleep. And then, like, everyone was like, no, that's not possible. You can't do that. Um, but he was, like, so fucking confident, and he would just keep saying that. And eventually, people started believing him. <laughs> because, like, it's such a ridiculous thing to claim, but he fucking pulled it off. He gaslit everybody into thinking uh, he just didn't sleep. And one time, he fell asleep in class, and everyone was like, dude, you're so full of shit. And that was the end of his career. Kids are so weird like that. They are. They're wrong in the most confident way possible. My favorite, uh, my favorite kid move is when you like call them out on something. And you're like, no, that's not real. They'll be like, yeah, huh? Ask my mom. My mom will confirm it. It's like your mom is the ultimate authority. Like, dude, I don't fucking trust your mom. I don't trust your crackhead mom. Are you kidding? It's like saying, <laughs> yeah, ask my weird uncle. Pigeons aren't real. Ask him. He'll tell you. I had teachers that tried to convince me I had a bright future. Oh, come on, man. Maybe you do. Hit the mountain shrine. Man, I'm Mario. What do you what do you want from me, man? Just I'm just a fucking I'm just a silly dude. I have not watched the Mario movie yet. Um I was going to, and then I just didn't see it. So that's the end of that story. I hope you guys enjoyed my uh my Mario movie story. I heard it was just like okay. Like, it wasn't good, but it was like, for a movie that's not good, it was pretty good. Yo, Gunshot, welcome to a Grandchild. Enjoy your emote. This is also, this is the designer of the new Accurd emote. So, shout out Gunshot. Hell yeah. Trump's dropping loads today. Um, I've had kind of a hectic day. I have... A sponsorship this week and I didn't realize so I've been kind of scrambling to get that done there is a video coming out this week um, I think it's gonna be cool it's a it's a best of 2023 video and I'm excited for it I said um, I was like going through all my videos and a bunch of streams from last year and I uh, I realized I say a lot of dumb shit. <laughs> like, I'm so different on stream than I am in my videos. It's fucking crazy. Like, when I have a script and I'm reading, I can actually sometimes manage to sound smart. But you just put me in front of the game. And you're like, okay, play it. Play it and talk to people. And it's like, uh... Oh. Like... I don't know, man. Take band... Take Van- um, I don't know, man. I don't know about that. I mean, it would- it wouldn't hurt right now, it's just later on. <sighs> hmm. What am I doing? Is that like- is that everything? Are there any more chance shrines? Nope, nope. Got some more down here. Man, I'm almost 10 minutes. I need to get out of here soon. This is actually probably a good 
stream concept for me because I tend to like dally and over farm on stages anyway when I stream. So this should work. Okay. I hit the did I hit the mountain shrine? I think I did. Fuck. Okay, um, I didn't see a scrapper, but I do think I want to go into the speed printer. Come on. Ooh, what the hell? Okay. So, I'll just shoot the boss, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll keep the rest. It seems pretty good. At which point of YouTube can you actually see it as a job? 50k or under? Like, subscriber number? It depends. Like, uh, subscriber number, I think, is kind of irrelevant in a lot of cases. Because, uh, you know, you, you have a channel with, like, an Agario channel from eight years ago with over a million subs and get, like, two views a video. Um, I don't know. It's, it's tricky. It didn't, like, really become something that's viable for me until, like, last year. Um, it's hard to say. And also, like, different costs of living in different places affects it, too. Um, also, like, I think the, uh, the niche you're in, like, if you're a finance channel, your CPM, I think, is, like, four times higher than a gaming channel. And if you're a kid's channel, your CPM is dog shit. But that's okay, because kid's channels get, like, millions of views anyway. Like, hundreds of millions of views. Have you ever look at the fucking the kid's YouTube? It's crazy, man. Like, uh... Not that this is... I mean, it's, like, tangentially related, I guess. But the, the, the whole skibbity toilet thing <laughs> is still mind-blowing to me. Just the number of people that are watching those. Fucking 60 million views on a video 12 days ago. My dad is not ripped. <laughs> well, you better not like the stream then. Dude. Ugh. This is so hard. Yo, Pacific, thank you for the uh, eight eight month grandchild. Come on. Okay, maybe I should have got the Singularity Band. I guess I still can. I mean, you know, I'm I'm commando. Fuck it. What's the worst that's gonna happen? Like I'm gonna get a band build. We're doing it. We're doing it. I have no AOE. Ugh. It's probably gonna bite me in the ass. I'm gonna immediately find bands. I know. But, uh... Look at that. Look at that. That's a crit. Ooh, that'll be good. Mm. Mm. Gross. Focus up. Focus up. Can't look at chat. Okay. Uh, almost dead. Oh boy. I told you Van best. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it was probably a misplay. Even still. How am I going to charge this? There's so much shit. Ugh. Oh. Double squid pull up, really? You notice how fast the golems are spawning in? Is that actually faster? Like the mod actually faster? I think it might be. I don't know what else would be doing that. Okay. Okay. That should work. Like the stream if your mom is ripped. How about that? Don't want to give short shrift to the ladies. You have a ripped mom. Hell yeah. Also, can I meet her? I can't like then? Well, it's not like. 
It's just if you have one. It's just if you have one, you know? You, you wouldn't have to, like, dislike the stream if you didn't have a ripped mom or anything like that. That'd be... That'd be crazy. What the hell? Y'all have... Uh, weak as shit moms. Fucking get your mom on the creatine. Get her on the bar. Like, what the hell? Don't you care about her? You're just gonna let your mom not be ripped? You're a bad child. My mom is so ripped. Yo, Ashraf, thank you for the $5. Like the stream, everybody. That's a call to act. Can we get a like spike? We just get a, a big old spike of likes. I don't know what it does. To this day, I do not know what <laughs> liking a YouTube video or stream does for it. Uh, but it does sound cool to say. Smash that notification bell. Hit that like button. Smack it with the might of Zeus. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, blind pests. But this is like a perfect example of why you don't need to worry about them. Like literally just running in a circle. Like somebody said yesterday, like desynced blind pests are impossible. But literally, I'm just running in a circle and they can't do shit. Um, okay. I'm looking for some drones here. That healing drone is about to die. Shit. Hang in there, bud. Oh, there is a scrapper. Shit. Um, I'm going to grab the gun, right? Don't forget that. I think it makes your stream visible to more people. I have, I have no earthly idea. In theory, I think it should, but... YouTube's weird. Like, I've... I've tried like tests on youtube videos where it'll be like a very similar video one i'll ask for a like one i won't and i will see like no discernible difference really and you know there's like so many different variables in that it's not like a true scientific test but i don't know i i, th I don't think they help as much as people think really what helps a video is just people watching it But I think any engagement is good. There's so many, like, myths about it, too. Like, I also, at one point, I read that any engagement is good. So, like, if somebody dislikes your video, that also helps it. But I don't know. I feel like that can't be true. Okay. Um. Huh. This is a cool variant. I don't think I've got this one yet. What do we got back there? I should have scrapped. What am I doing? Oh, you know what? Holy shit. Check this out. This is an infinite damage printer right here. So we can just do this. This is actually like scaling the timer like way fast. Every time I print something, it uh, makes the timer go weird. I think that's good. I lost all my speed. <laughs> I'm so ADHD brain. It's like, ooh, shiny. Let's get rid of all of my items. I can't help it, man. I think it is good, though, with the amount of shrines I'm going to be hitting here. ICBM would be crazy. Dude, I'm so fucked next stage. Like, I mean, all my items are fireworks. You know what? Whatever. It'll work. Let's find a caffeinator. If I had like a gas printer, that would be crazy. Gas printers are my new favorite thing, I think. They're nice. Firework and van. The synergy. That's crazy. Oh my god, I could get... 
eight keys. I could be like the fucking groundskeeper. I could be. Gr I could do some groundskeeper roleplay. I got some speed. Nice. Time to get rid of it for more fireworks. No, I won't do that. I'll probably do that. Give me... Honestly, like, roll of pennies would be nice. Gore's Tome. Something like that. Hmm. Not that, though. Okay, there is a chance trying back there. I need to pay attention to, like, how many times they're going to scam me. I don't think I've gotten scammed too hard yet. I know there's just going to be an impossible chance shrine at some point that I will not be able to open for the life of me. That's Golden Freddy. Oh yeah, the the classic Golden Freddy Easter egg. Ugh. All right. I kind of want to get more fireworks. It's the New Year's special. Oh, of course. Okay, well. Might as well. <laughs> the more you get, the stronger it is. Oh, and I got three squid pops. Okay, this is the perfect caffeinator build, actually. I'm spawning squid pops from that printer. All right, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It, it makes failing kind of nice, right? Because at least I get the fireworks. This build is actually kind of working. <laughs> Why is it working? I guess it probably won't forever. It's just like this stage it will. Uh, egg again. I really need a caffeinator. If I have a caffeinator, it's a GG. I just win. Yay, speed. Yeah, let's hope nothing bad happens to it. No, I'm probably okay on fireworks. I can probably stop. I have enough to where if I find a remote caffeinator, I'll be alright. Ugh, there's so many chance shrines. Ugh. Music a little bit loud. It's a great song though. Crage for caffeinator, yeah. I need it to harness your energy. Give me your energy chat room. Grandpa Heinzlicker is stuck on Petrichor 5. He has 11 fireworks, and he needs your help. All he needs is your credit card number and the three digits on the back. Help John Origin. Ugh. Whatever happened to voiceover Pete? Does he still do cameo? I hope so. He was uh, one of my favorite meme figures. Of the last couple years. He's a living meme. <laughs> Be careful, you might have a stroke, you haven't taken your pill. I don't care anymore. I've got a pill minder that tells me when to take them. But, uh, the problem with that is if I don't remember which day of the week it is, it doesn't really help me. So, it's not it's not very useful. I'm living life on the edge. Doctor says I'm going to have a heart attack. I think that's just horse shit from Big Pharma. I think he's trying to get me on the prescription, so... I'll give money to, uh, to Big Adderall. 
Big Adderall is crazy these days. Did you play Lethal Company? Uh, I've heard that's good. I've heard that's very good. I know Dan, like, wanted to play with me at some point. I said, sure. Three streams in a row is awesome. Well, hopefully it's going to be... Well, it's not going to be in a row. Uh, I plan on streaming every Monday through Friday, basically every day this year. Give or take a week or two. But uh, that's the new stream schedule. I'm going to try to do this every day. Um, I feel like in the past I've not been very consistent, and that is my resolution for this year, is just to get really consistent with streaming and to get good at it. Who knows uh, how long I'll be able to keep that up. Probably not the entire year, but I'm hoping to go, like, for at least a bit doing that. Okay. Ugh. Now I'm fucked. <laughs> my fireworks are gone. Hmm. What do I do? Is there like a a barrel or something I could open? Hey. Yikes. Need to like try to rock a van. I don't know how I d would go about doing that. I'm tw what the fuck? I printed so many fireworks. I'm 27 minutes stage two. What is going on? What have I been doing, man? <laughs> no, that's real. <laughs> that's actually how long I've been here. I've been fucking around. Holy shit. <laughs> I have not been paying attention to the timer. It's fine. It's fine. Can I proc bands on you? I think I did. Okay, I'm glad I have wraps here. Alright. I'm tempted to just shoot this other one. Hmm. Yikes. Big ol' yikes. Now the good news is- ooh, hello. The good news is I shouldn't really have trouble, like, beyond the teleporters. Because I'll have access to my fireworks. And if I get a caffeinator, I'm fine. And I am getting a lot of items, because it is all chance shrines, right? So I'm probably getting 30% more items, on average, I would say. Do that. Mm. These wisps are the worst. Oh, okay. I have to, like, bank a grenade here. Shit. I'll get it. That was crazy. Nice. Fuck it, I'm shooting you. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I need the caffeinator. Or I'm gone. Holy shit. Okay, we'll get through this stage, okay? I should. But, uh, I need to be a little bit more careful. I've been very negligent this run. I've just been hanging out with chat, and, uh, <laughs> meanwhile, the enemies have been scaling. Ugh. We're fine. I can't believe I've been fucking live for half an hour. No way. 
Ah, give me AoE, please. Like a uke or something. Ugh, my healing drone died, too. Alright, let's just get out of here. Ugh. I do not feel safe. I should have grabbed that, but it's whatever. It's a Molotov. Oh, I can get it, actually. Nice. The Vand is great AoE. That's all I have going for me. <laughs> the Vand is my only AoE item. I guess I have Gloop, which is kind of scary. Ugh. Ugh. I, I don't want to do Sulfur Pools. Thank you. Mmm. Shape Glass was kind of tempting, actually, but I'll leave it alone. Ugh, boy. <laughs> the Brass Balls. Yeah, the BBC. The Blazing Brass Contraption. They'll get you. Holy shit, why does this stage look like Arizona? <laughs> The fucking Arizona skin. I was in Arizona last year. I went to the Grand Canyon on a pilgrimage on my birthright. Every grandparent at some point has to go to the Grand Canyon. Um, and I went there during a heat wave, which is like, it's not, you know, the best being in Arizona during a heat wave, can I just say, and doing hikes. <laughs> it's kind of not the best timing. I'll be honest. Okay, yes, fireworks. Do shit, please. Oh my god, that's so good. How did that not proc band? Okay, hopefully you'll give me some money. I'll buy a shrine. Um, and where's a shrine? There's a healing. Oh, there's a barrel. Do that. Ugh. These spawns are brutal. Nice. Okay, what do we got? Brooch. That could be nice. Um, I'm gonna wait on that barrel. I'm like... Like, I should, like, actually save the barrels for the tel teleporter, I think. Crowbar printer. Hmm. Repulsion armor plate. Oh, that's... It's kind of good. I need a scrapper or something. Hey, just got it here. How did Vand happen? Vand was a decision I made stage one, because I didn't have any carry effect. And I still don't, really. It's kind of carrying. Shit was just taking forever to kill. And I haven't found a, a band yet, so... Oh my god. Okay. Not punished for using the one last stage. That's nice. Three guns this run? <laughs> really? Are they, like, more common in chance shrines or something? That's crazy. God damn. Little D time, hopefully. Yeah, that's so nice. I'm not going to have to deal with the boss. Yeah, just keep giving me those. So I can just keep boss skipping. I've used one every stage. I want to find... Well, ICBM would be really nice, but... Like a damage printer of some kind. Like a watch printer. Elixirs. <laughs> the firework printer was actually a really good play. That's it was a meme thing, but it was like the only smart decision I've made this run. <laughs> Fireworks are crazy, man. Okay. Barrel, I need to remember there's one there. Hmm. Gross. Give me some good stuff. Please. Oh my god, look at that. Ooh, that's so nice. Yeah, usually in cope runs, what happens is when you're in the looting phase, you just, like, create a bunch of spawns. 
uh, that you can't kill, right? Because you're coping. You don't have any AoE or whatever. Um, but this run is a cope run, but I'm actually able to clear during the looting phase. Ooh, some bleed. That's beautiful. Unfortunately, fireworks don't have a super high proc coefficient. I think it's like 0.2 or something. Correct me if I'm wrong. When is the ICBM incoming? Soon, hopefully. Funny story about ICBM. I actually... <laughs> I had it disabled for like six months last year. Because I was doing something to like record footage for a video. And uh, I turned off all the red items. Except like Clover. Or, I was trying to get some shot. And I just forgot to turn ICBM back on. So like one day I was like, huh. It's been kind of a, a minute since I've seen this item. And sure enough... It just wasn't fucking enabled. <laughs> so, I, I get excited every time I see one now. It's like, probably my least picked up red item. Okay, what do we got? Ooh. Uh, that, that is really nice, though. That's super nice. Hey, dude. Yeah, Shustis is... It's like 60% more damage. Basically. Mmm, good. Finally. I mean, at this point, 36 minutes into a run. It's not the best, but... It's something. I'll take it. Buckler. Not too bad. Okay. These are starting to get expensive. There we go. Mm. I mean, I am getting a lot of items. Like, that. that is the plus side of this run. Because it's the, the old... The age-old adage, right? Items over time. Although, I don't... Even then, I think I'm still doing shitty. Like, I've not been very efficient. Even considering... Okay. That's an expensive chance shrine. I'm getting some bleed stacks. Not bad. What do we got? Fuel cell. Okay. I could probably start teleporter here. Ugh. Yeah. Oy vey. Get gun? Yeah. I mean, I don't really... What is my healing right now? My healing is not very good. So I, I think I will try to keep the smeech here. If possible. Alright. 500 on that one again. Alright. Whatevs. Also, uh, kind of underrated in this builder, the squid polyps. They're not too bad. Opal, that's really nice. Okay. Um... I think I should hit a new Talter, if I can. Ugh. Oh, I opened that barrel. I th I'm on autopilot. I shouldn't have opened it. Um, I'll grab the gun in a second. Just want to see if there's a newt up here. If It might be up there, and if that's the case, then... Eh... Alright, can't do it this stage. Unless there's a way to get up there. Was there, like, a vase or something? I feel like there might have been. I, don't, I honestly don't remember. I have the memory of a goldfish. Smeech is the most vile abbreviation I've ever laid ears on. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Smeech. <laughs> I mean, that's Wranglish for you. Good old Wranglish. 8, 10? Okay, that's definitely the most expensive one so far. I'll get it later. Um, alright. Gun. Okay, there's a barrel there. If I need it. Alright. Please be something nice. Like, Imp Overlord or Grove Tender. And it's gonna be multiple, too. 
If it's Dean Striders, I'm gonna be so upset. Oh, good. Good, good, good. I don't. Do I have any crit? I don't. But you know what? I have a little bit of bleed, so I should be able to like get some some Shatter Spleen procs in here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. I can get. I can at least get the explosions here. Now, kind of hard to stack bleed on the uh, the imp overlords. You have to bait them into doing that shit. Nice. Okay. I'm pretty strong. Oh, and a uke. Don't mind if I do. All right, this stage, pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. I just need a caffeinator. If I had a caffeinator, I'd be able to get so much bleed. Okay. Head focus up a bit. I think I'm back. Need more ahoys? You're right. You're absolutely right. That's enough for now. That's all you're getting. That's all you're getting. You don't deserve more than that. Alright, let's see. Got this chance shrine. Not too expensive. Ooh. Not bad. Crunder. Okay, yeah. Crunder's pretty good. Although, I kind of need this money. Oh, that's for the first item? Okay. I need to hit the other ones. Before I come back to you, I don't even think I'll have enough. Some speed. Nice. Um, okay. Crunder is nice, though. Yeah, it's looking like a bleed build. It's looking like a pretty signature bleed build. Still would like a Gore's Tome or something. Okay, well, I'll go fuck myself. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Is he edging us on Ahoy? I mean... He didn't have to say it. Why are we not playing Captain? Uh, because Mario is the meta. Haven't you heard? Sweeping all of the tier lists. Alright, let's see. Uh, what do we got? Sticky Bomb. Hmm. Maybe. If there's a scrapper. That could be alright. It's a lot easier to see things on uh, this texture. Alright, there was a combat shrine. Hopefully that'll give me some gups. I think, was there? Where did I see that? It's back here. Yeah, it's so much easier to see the crabs on this map. Okay. Kind of wish I, I still had the gun, but... Spleen is definitely better than a Molten Perforator here. I'm actually kind of getting close to Deathmark territory. What do I need? I guess I'm not that close. Like, what? That's like an easy debuff I could get here. I don't have like an innate debuff. I need like a scorpion or something. To proc it consistently. Also, I wonder, is the legendary chest still there? Yeah, somebody asked in chat too. Let's see. It probably is. Yeah, we still got the legendary chest. So we have that going for us. It's pretty nice. 
equipment drone. More fireworks, I'll take it. Give me more squid pull-ups, too. I, I want to go all in on the caffeinator build. Like, what are the chances we don't get a caffeinator here? Pretty damn well. Admit you have a gambling problem. This challenge is a clear example. You're right. You're right. You know, I, I don't have a gambling addiction. I just think it's... um, I just want to promote gambling to my audience, really. Really. This uh, this stream is actually brought to you by Steak. It's not. It is not. I am legally required to say that it is not. You know, I'm just trying to be a good role model for all my grandchildren, really. Give them something to aspire to. Okay. Um. I'm not really a fan of that. There's a... <laughs> There's a BBC in there, and uh, I would like to leave. BBC in the cave, yeah. This cave can barely fit that BBC. Like, it might just burst at the seams, you know? Ugh, god. We're fine. Yo, get him, Squid Polyp. Hell yeah. Oh, some crit? Beautiful. Okay, nice. This is going pretty well. What is that? Steak printer? No. It's gross. It's actually fucking disgusting. Get that out of my face. Ooh. Vase. Probably prefer Crunder. Some more crit. That's good. Penny? Now I get Penny? It's, I don't feel like it's good at this point. I can't really farm it without dying. Print stakes. You won't, you coward. No. I think that's offensive. Honestly. I prefer to use every part of the buffalo. Like my father taught me. I'm not just gonna fucking print steak. It's fucking disrespectful to the land. You gotta respect nature, man. You gotta respect nature. You know, from a very young age, my father taught me about fracking. And he told me to not do it. He said, don't you I better not catch you fracking, son. I said, absolutely, Dad. And then when I was a teenager, I had a fracking phase where I'd frack all the time just to, like, rebel against him. But it wasn't cool. Really, I was just disrespecting Mother Earth. You shouldn't frack, guys. If I can use my platform for anything, it's that. You know, gamble all you want, drink all you want, take all the drugs. Fracking, not okay. Stay away from it. Not even once. Not even once. Ooh, I'm getting some bleed now. Look at that crit. That's nice. Oh. Hell yeah. The fireworks were like the best play I could have made, honestly. This run might be dead without the fireworks. Were your teenage years in the 1950s or 1920s? I can't remember. 
Oh, they were like in the 11D7s. They were, they, they were a while ago. Just recently, a couple of friends mentioned this game to me. Now I'm so hooked on it. It's so fun. I can play all day and not get bored. I wish there were mods for Xbox. Uh, yeah. Sad. Sad. You'll never be able to hit the gritty on Xbox. I'm gonna do this. You'll never be able to do that on Xbox. It's the most tragic thing. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... I deserved it. I deserved to get at least one band this run. As penance. At least it's not on Switch. I need to play the, the new Switch update. The Z constructs here yeah. <laughs> are interesting. I mean, there's so many bugs. I mean, I've been I've been told the mixed things about the console update that it fixed a bunch of stuff and it didn't fix anything. It's probably somewhere in between where it still has problems, but it's better than it was before. I imagine. I mean, it. God knows it couldn't have gotten worse. All right, nice. Ugh. How much is this? Nineteen thirteen. Okay, I haven't been keeping track of how much I've been paying, but that has to be a record of some kind. Of some kind. Xbox, record that. It fixed a lot, but introduced new problems. It's definitely better. That's a shame. I, uh, I turned Wi-Fi off on my Switch so it wouldn't auto-update. Which I didn't need to do. There's, like, a feature where you can, like, turn off auto-update. But I, I don't want the old Switch version to become lost media, you know? I'm a historian. That's why I bought every single game on the Nintendo eShop. Because it's for history, guys. <laughs> it's for history. Do you guys see the, uh, the fucking Gerard, the completionist charity shit? Holy fuck, that was insane, wasn't it? Dude. That's crazy. That, that shit, like, blew my mind. This is the most wholesome YouTuber, and he, that's the most heinous thing you can do. Like, that's how you- there's no coming back from that. There's no fucking- his career is over. Like, I don't know, sometimes I wonder the statistics on, like, influencers, and how many of their careers die from just, like, being cancelled or doing some dumb shit. Like, what is the percentage on that? I feel like there's so many. And maybe that's just confirmation bias, but... Like, if you're if you're an influencer, or a, a person of note, of any kind, that's like your number one risk. Dude, you're gonna fucking see me on the news in ten years, and I'm fucking smuggling drugs into the country or some shit. <laughs> That's the scam charity guy. Yeah, I used to watch his videos all the time. He just seemed like a wholesome dude, but like... Holy fuck. Using your mom... To like charity bait? For, for like... Which is like... Okay. You can use your mom to bait for money. If it's for charity, but it like... Wasn't really. <laughs> I don't know. It's just... It's crazy, the shit that happens. I don't pay attention to YouTube drama often, but... That one... Ugh. That's a, that's a pretty bad one. Like, on the tier list of... Of, like, things... 
that you don't want to be caught doing. That's fucking up there. It's like that in like the infamous like pedophile one, you know. Those are like the two worst ones, I feel. Pedophile one is probably worse though. I will say. That's like That's like two two leagues above charity fraud. But charity fraud is pretty fucking bad. Oh, you know what? I might not have enough to do the legendary chest here. Man, why'd I hit that? I should have farmed a little bit more. Uh, whatever. If I don't buy any more shrines, I should be okay. Wasn't there one anime YouTube who murdered someone? I think there was. There was also one that was like a mass shooter. Remember that one? There's some dark shit that happens. Like, think about, like, Twitch, right? And just how many people are there streaming to zero viewers, like, every day. And just shit that we have caught on stream. But think about the amount of shit that is happening there every day that we just don't catch. Like, some fucked up shit has happened, for sure. And just nobody has seen it. No, don't use the crunder. I need to conserve. Ugh. Maybe I can, like, farm pennies somehow. Ugh. Shatter Splint is so good. How can we get... A risk of bringing two public multiplayer lobbies back to popularity. There's so few. Um, I don't. I wish they were better. I think, uh, well, like public lobbies, you have to deal with a lot of like weirdness. I think if they had voice chat, if if public lobbies had voice chat, I would actually play them. That's an idea, though. I could do some pubs at some point. I did pubs when I played on Switch, and uh, people were a lot better than they are on PC. Like, it's just annoying playing with players that, like, steal all your items and shit, and are greedy. You get a lot of greedy players in multiplayer. I think that's probably how most people play, unfortunately. A lot of people are greedy when they play this game. Like, one in the chat, if you played this game with friends, and they've just, like, stolen your items, it'd have been pieces of shit about it. I'm a one -er. I'm definitely a one. Yeah. There's so many. That's a lot of ones. I actually haven't. Oh, I'm done with this. He did. Uh, killed the Titan. Do you mean... Yeah. <laughs> if, you're, if you're a two on that, that means you're the problem. <laughs> I play with share suite, but usually one, yeah. We should do some, uh, I should do some like multiplayer lobbies with chat at some point. That'd be cool. Get some like the 16 player runs. I don't know. Can you do more than 16? You might be able to. Ugh. That's it? That's what you're gonna give me? That's gross. Alright, come on. One of these has to have a caffeinator, right? 26. 13. Okay. Not too bad. Uh, I got excited for a second. The guy did 32 players. I'm sure that's like, horrible. Uh, ugh. No. That'll lag the fuck out of your computer. Ooh, watch. Not too bad. Alright, let's get out of here. I didn't see a scrapper. 
I, I should be good. I'm an hour into the run, really? That's crazy. 10% savings will go a long way, are you sure? I mean, Crunder is... Is really strong. It's really fucking strong. I considered it, though. Like, the 10% savings, you're right. Isn't too bad, but there's no multi-shops. Just means I have to grind a little bit longer. Oh, God. Is that an overloading worm? Natural spawn? Eesh. Eesh. Okay. I feel like I'm playing a bit better today. Search for Tricorn begins. I don't know. I feel like he's going to die before I get to Tricorn levels. Come on. Hello. Oh, blow up. Hmm. Okay, we got some money here. Oh my god. I had nothing. I got one item out of that. I didn't get any items. Shit. Hmm. We're fine. Damn it. Wanted a gun. Hmm. You have money, please. Don't get hit by a rock again. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. Never again. I'm never taking that risk. If you didn't see the ending of yesterday's stream, um... <laughs> it ended a little bit abruptly. I'm not a, a big, like, proponent of saying deaths aren't someone's fault. If you die, it's always your fault. That is the one exception, <laughs> I would say. What happened to me yesterday was absolutely not my fault. Okay, let's open this. Bear? Nah. I mean, okay. With the fireworks, it's not too bad. Looks like there's another void. We have, we've got another shot. I want bear so I can pillar skip. Loot would be pretty nice too. Okay. Maybe don't attack that. Man, those fireworks are not doing anything. Alright, you should give me some, some money. Nice, okay. What am I doing? I should probably buy some drones, too. I want a gun. I want a gun or a caffeinator. I'm sure can. That's a consistent van proc. Ooh, there's a card. I'll take that for now. Come on. Mm. More gas. I think the worm... Nope, worm is still alive. I think he's getting fucked up, though. <laughs> Just do a backwards long jump. The skip pillar is... True. Very true. Yeah, why don't I just do that? I mean, to be clear, I'm fine. I don't really need to keep looting. I have what I need, essentially. Oh, now you give that to me? Now you give it to me? Okay. Okay, bud. Oh, God. <laughs> I got I got a Vietnam flashback right there. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Some more bleed. Not too bad. <laughs> I heard the bombs dropping. 
my friends dead around me. Fuck, man. When are we gonna, like, get out of Vietnam? I, I feel like we shouldn't be there anymore. It's been too- it's been, like, almost a century. I feel like we should pull out a nom. You know? It's crazy that we're still there. Is this one of those cope runs? It's actually not. It's actually fine. The bleed is... Putting in work. Like, if it was a cope run, you would know. There would be a billion fucking enemies. But like, look at my damage here. Like, I'm gonna kill this guy before he even starts blasting. It's a really good run, actually. The fireworks are kind of what made it. They're good with the chance shrines, because you're just constantly activating them. Come on. Oh! Hell yeah! Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hell yes. Alright, we got it. Should we loop one in the chat if we should loop, two if we should not? Who here wants to see? It's been a while since I've looped. I'm feeling like maybe we should loop. You know what? Actually, we'll do this properly. We'll do a we'll do a poll here. We'll do a proper poll. There we go. Oh, we also yeah. Leave a like if your dad is ripped. That too. Okay, uh, seventy percent yes. Oh, that's a lot of yeses. a lot of yeses. Okay. The people have spoken. Seems like we will. I mean, you have until we hit the teleporter. I guess. Let's get out of there. <laughs> Assuming I don't die, right? I've, the last three streams, I haven't even fought Mithrix. <laughs> Okay. Come on. Give me something better. Um. I don't know. Are we good? I feel like I'm okay to leave here. We start the teleporter at least. I can loot more. Loot for more fireworks. Oh yeah, we gotta get an ICBM. We gotta go at least until I get an ICBM. Cut to three hours later. Okay. Um, where is teleporter? It's down here. Remember to hit the prong. The cool thing about the caffeinator is if you spawn it in. Oh shit. I might not be able to show this off if he's gonna be a dick. You can actually hit it. Um, oh shit. If you keep hitting it, like, it won't deactivate. Okay, now it's gonna deactivate because I left. But if you spawn it in outside the teleporter and you just spam it, as long as you keep hitting it, it should stay in the map. And it won't get locked off by the teleporter. Hey. Mending elders, really. That's what we're doing? That's what we're doing here? Ah, I got locked off. Maybe I should just do it inside the teleporter so I don't run that risk. 
Yeah, that's, that's what we'll do. Oh, there's a BBC back there. Gotta be careful. Alright, that is my cue to leave. Can you die, please? <laughs> I need to get rid of the worm. The worm needs to go. Do I have any stuns? I think I have a few. Stuns are really good on Commando. Can you go, please? Thank you. Probably should have hit a newt, but it is what it is. Alright, now this is going to be a breeze. Yeah. Hell yeah. That worm has been chasing me all stage. Yeah, I mean, I haven't killed it because I've been looking for a gun, but it just hasn't happened. Now, you know, as soon as I, like, like open that chance shrine, it's going to have a fucking gun in it. <laughs> It's okay. I think I, I've met my gun quota for this run anyway. I can't be too greedy. I've had plenty. My dad is ripped. My dad dipped me in the river sticks. Oh, hell yeah. Isn't that like a... Was that Achilles? They dipped... They dipped Achilles in the river Styx, um, but, the, like, his mom held him by his heel, so his heel was not dipped in the river Styx, and that was his weakness, right? Why didn't they dip him again? She just re-dipped him, you know? Like, refried beans. You gotta refry him, you know? Just re-dip him. <laughs> what are you doing, Greek gods? What the hell? I actually met Achilles once. He's a piece of shit. He cut me off in traffic. And left a big stinky turd in my toilet. What an asshole. Okay. Ah, whatever. I'm out of here. Oh, my game is dying. Alright, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Don't crash. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of here. Don't crash. <laughs> Alright. Come on, we gotta get an ICBM. ICBM soon. Alright. Oh. Spanish stream win? Um. C. Dose. The new Mario game looks fun. Yeah, this is, uh, 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 what's it called? Wonder Bros? Super Mario Wonder Bros? Uh, Super Mario Wonder? Yeah, man. It's crazy. It's great. Game of the year. Is it just me, or does every Risk of Rain 2 streamer use the same music playlist? I mean, kinda, yeah. You're kind of right about that. When I streamed on Twitch, my music playlist was very different. It was all like 80s jam bands, but I can't get away with that on YouTube, unfortunately. The Beatles do kind of look like Goombas, lol. <laughs> you, you know what? You're right. <laughs> You're fucking right. I want to see an edit of, like, their Abbey Road album, and Mario just comes in and, like, fucking 
just decimates them. Fucking Ringo Star, that piece of shit. That piece of shit. How you doing, Nexus Legends? What up, man? Beetles or why head stompers exist? Yeah. Uh, when, when I I wish when you beat Mythrix, Mario would look at the camera and go, "Thank you so much for to playing my game." That is that, that's like the number one Mario quote I think. And he says, "Thank you so much for to playing my game." Hell yeah, man. <laughs> that's perfect. I wish fucking Chris Pratt said that. You don't see Chris Pratt saying that shit. He's like, oh, I'm Mario. Hello, it is me. The iconic ni video game Nintendo character, Mario. I'm Chris Pratt. That's what he sounds like. He did, like... <laughs> why, why did they not just get the fucking Mario voice actor to do it? I don't understand. <laughs> it's the only like casting decision I think that made sense for that movie was Jack Black as Bowser. Charlie Day as Luigi was pretty pretty funny though. He retired. He was in the movie though, wasn't he? He retired. Dude, can you imagine being <laughs> the Mario voice actor? You're like, alright, I'm retiring. I was like, oh, that's too bad. Because we're doing a Mario movie and you can't be in it now. Like, the second he retires, we're like, yes, he's gone. Do the fucking Mario movie. Aren't they doing a Zelda movie now? Oh, I got an elephant. When, when did that happen? Hello? Where did I, where did I get this? Where did I acquire this? This is not what I want. What the hell? <laughs> it's not like a... a random contagion mod or anything like that, is it? it better not be. Where the actual fuck did I... <laughs> where did I pick this up? Oh, here we go. Disrupted, are you a professional risk taker? I would say so. I mean, I am... Like, banking my entire future on a... A YouTube channel. I feel like that's a pretty big risk. I have... No backup plan. <laughs> but it's fine. It's whatever, dude. I don't care. This is it for me. Like, I'll be, I'll be homeless before I stop doing this. Man, I just don't want to work in a cubicle. That's all I'm trying to do. Do I have a normie job? Nah, th this is my, what I do full time. I'm very fortunate. I'd probably just retire if I was not doing YouTube. Hm. Cubicle job blows, I know. Sucks ass, man. I mean, some people like it. That's like what our society deems like a good job. Sure. I guess. No, it's not the job itself. It's just like the people you have to deal with. Like having to deal with like office politics and HR. Sounds like a fucking nightmare. Having like mandatory office Christmas parties 
Imagine having to go to a party, and it's mandatory. <laughs> you're gonna have a fucking good time. You're gonna go to this, you're gonna participate in the Secret Santa, and you're, you're gonna have fun. And you're fucking fired. What the hell? What the hell? Parties should never be mandatory. <laughs> I don't know, like, what's... I'm trying to think of the only time it would be appropriate to have a, a mandatory party. I don't think there is one. What's a situation it would be appropriate to... to compel someone legally to go to a party? A funeral? Yeah, yeah, that's a pretty good one. It's not a funeral, it's a celebration of life. Yeah. I'm gonna get fucked up at my grandma's funeral. Try to get laid. <laughs> Some hot gilfs there, I'm sure. That's funny. <laughs> I just, I'm just picturing like a, a college frat, but it's a grandma's funeral. <laughs> Open casket, people are <laughs> fucking playing pool on it. You come here often? Yeah. This place sucks, let's get out of here. <laughs> you wanna come back to my place? Dancing and drinking over the coffin, yeah. Do a line of coke off the coffin. That's some good shit. That's some good shit right there. Come on. That was all my money. That was all. That was two hits. That was everything. They took it all. Alright, that's fine. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Come back to my place and play some mahjong. Hell yeah. Well, let's wake up the neighbors with our mahjong. They'll be so jealous. Are they fucking playing Mahjong in there? Weak, dude. Why'd they invite me? Because you're my neighbor and you're lame. Now, old people know how to party. Like, you think they're just, like, wholesome and, like, wait, waiting to die, basically. But the second you leave, the second you're not watching them, bro... And they get all the fucking cool drugs, too. You know, when you're young and you go to the doctor, they're, like, very hesitant to give you medications. But when you're fucking 80, uh, the doctor's like, you know what, just fucking... Have some perk, have a good time. Just chill out, bro. That's a good time. That's a good time. Old people are the biggest swingers. Search the villages in Florida. I don't doubt you. Um, but that sounds hellish, to be honest. Searching villages in Florida? Yeah, I think that's what I want my funeral to be like. I mean... I, like, I don't give a shit. Legally... I feel like... I'm dead. I don't... I don't... Care. I don't care what happens. We'll be in the dirt. We'll have a fracking party. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's gonna get fucked up and start fracking. Yo. Alright, here we go. Fourth of July build? Seriously. 
Can we eat you? Oh, absolutely. That'd be fucked. That'd be a fucked up, like, practical joke. Like, if you're a real asshole, <laughs> you could do that. You'd be like, oh, uh, refreshments. Like, next to the water, you have, like, cold cuts. But, it, <laughs> but it's, it's your dead body. That, that'd be so fucked. You could do it, though. I was into BDSM, St. Andrew's cross in the bedroom and all. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus was kind of kinky. Like, if you really think about it. Jesus was really into BDSM. Rip bitrate? Oh, yeah, it's probably horrible, isn't it? What's the problem with looping? Now, maybe there's, like, some stuff I can do here. Let's see. Um. Do we have firework trails? We can turn those off. Turn off shatter screen. Turn those off. See if that... Does that help at all? I thought it was fine, Bitrate. It's YouTube. It's never fine. Does that look any better? I feel like it has to. I wake up, start your stream, and hear Jesus was really into BDSM. <laughs> Welcome to uh, youtube.com slash disputed origin. That's what we do here. <laughs> this is actually, believe it or not, tamer compared to the last two days. I've said some crazy shit this year. <laughs> we're, we're three days in. I've said the most outlandish thing. I've, I've, uh, I've advocated for school shootings. I've said mushrooms cured my autism. I've said Jesus is into BDSM. I'm three for three. No, I, ne I never advocated for school shootings, to clarify. I just said... Like, school shootings are bad, and you, you don't, you, you don't, like, want to have a school shoot. But, like, if you, if you had to have a school shooting anywhere, like, Utah is a do. That's all, that's all I'm saying. You don't want to, you don't want to have one. But if you had to have one anywhere, Utah is a good pick. <laughs> Is that- is that crazy to say? Like, is that really- like, I feel like that- It's true! It's true. We don't get any school shootings here. It's horrible. <laughs> I mean, no, uh, it's a blessing. <laughs> I'm not upset about it. My mom's a, a school teacher, by the way. <laughs> so. My uh, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite, like when that was a thing for a while, everyone was talking about it. They were saying we should give the teachers guns. That was my favorite, like, suggestion in that whole debate. Yeah, let's give the teachers guns. Let's... Okay, but here's what we're gonna do. They're not gonna have the guns. We're gonna lock them in a safe, and they're not gonna know the code to the safe uh, until there's an actual shooting, and then we're gonna tell them. We're gonna tell them what the code is, and it's like, <laughs> dude... You take one look at my mom, and then you picture her with a gun, and it's like, that's never gonna work. <laughs> like, that's not happening. Imagining my mom with a gun, like, facing down a school shooter. That was a real suggestion. Yeah, just give the kids guns. True. Like, what? What are you on?
put it in a safe that they don't know the code to. Okay, um... Ah, shit. I have no money. I want to get some fireworks out. Okay, I can hit the new Talter. This will give me some fireworks. Give everyone guns. Yeah, true. If everyone had guns, there would be zero gun violence. Like, if you really think about it. You think 1,000 bored kids can't test 10,000 possible codes in an empty classroom? Th they might be able to, I don't know. Um, I remember having lockdown drills when I was in school, and I always thought they were so stupid because our classroom was, like, on the edge of the building, and if, like, I could just go out the window. So we're, we're all of the classes, it was a one-floor building, you just go out the window. If it was a real school shooting, I would fucking grab a book, smash that shit, and go through. It's not an effective drill. Um, also, there was, like, they had this policy where if there was an active shooter, what they would do is they would put either a red or a green piece of paper under the door to, like, signify to the police that there's, like, people in there or not. Or, like, everyone in there is okay. But it's, like, if you're a school shooter and you <laughs> you see a green piece of paper under a door, it's like, huh, I wonder what that could be. It's so dumb. <laughs> people are so fucking dumb in this country. It astounds me that that was, like, a real policy. Like, if there was a school shooter, that's what we would have done. But I live in Utah, unfortunately. Imagine how exciting that would be. I'm sure they'd like... You know... <laughs> I, I, I should stop. I should stop. <laughs> Well, you know, like, if you're late on your homework and, and that happened, you'd probably be okay. They wouldn't make you do it. You'd probably get some time off school. I don't know. Might be kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just, I'm just talking shit. race Mormonism. I, that might be what it is. Like, statistically, I think we have the most like, I mean, we, we definitely have the most students. I was talking about this yesterday, but I had like 40 kids to a class, sometimes more, sometimes it'd be upwards of 50 in like a tiny room. It was brutal, man. Like, it's not uncommon here to have families that have, like, five, six, seven kids. They're all really young. Like, the average age in the United States is, like, it's like 35. Utah, I think it's, like, 26. It's crazy. There's so many youngins here. Forty, fifty 50 kids is horrific. I'm a teacher, and I could never... I'd actually not survive. It's the worst. My mom has, like... she She's a high school teacher. She has eight periods. She has, like... 300 to 400 students. Like, what the fuck? How? It's crazy. She's grading papers literally 24-7. She's retiring soon, thank god. And they'll always, like, do some bullshit every year. They're just like, oh, there's a new grading program. It And it doesn't work. Have fun. It's, it's like all of the, the grading programs are never designed by like competent people. It's always like somebody's kid. I 
you know. I mean, it's just, it's a business at the end of the day. It really is. It's not supposed to be, but it kind of is. Uh, one thing that's, <laughs> that's kind of funny about uh, Utah schools is we have um, a thing called seminary. Which is basically, it's like going to church in the school. Which you can't do in the United States. There's a law against it. Like, one of the oldest laws in our country is separation of church and state. They need to be separate institutions. But the way Utah gets around that is in every high school, there's just a separate building, like two inches from the high school, that's called the seminary building. <laughs> so, and then they give, they give you, like, release time. That's what they call it. But you're just fucking going to church. I work inner city, but I'm awesome, so I don't get stabbed like some other teachers. Nice! Yeah, you don't want to get stabbed. That's no good. That's a, like, ugh. That's scary. That is very scary. Every time a band shows up in a shrine, I feel pain. Me too. Every time an item that is not ICBM shows up, I feel pain. Alright, come on. Come on. Give me something cool. A middle school? Oh, it's a middle school. Middle school is the worst. Okay. Or junior high? I don't know what the difference is. Why did I pick up Van? I did it stage one because I didn't have any AoE. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we have a watch printer. But it doesn't matter. I have Shatter Spleen, so I have plenty of AoE, and I don't really need Vans. I, I'm Commando. That's kind of why I justified it. If I was a loader, I wouldn't, but... Like, Commando can't really use Vans that well anyway. Still probably not the best play. Like, if I... Could have managed without a van, but I should have. But it was carrying me early on. It really was. Like, stage one and two. That shit was great. Okay, we're getting some scavs now. Ooh. Gup. You better give me some shit. Oh, shit. Oh, god. Yeah, I need those watches. My damage from these fireworks is starting to fall off a bit. I do have quite a bit of bleed, though. Unfortunately, the bleed is kind of falling off, too. I need those watches to kind of keep it afloat. Ow. I forgot about the crabs. Hey. Alright. Is there anything back here? Ay. You gonna shoot at me? Don't shoot at me. Take your turn. Thank you. Okay, I've killed the scav somewhere else. He did not drop a bag. Now, teacher salaries are, like, so fucked up. Everyone, like, is like, shout out to the teachers, we appreciate you. But, like, not enough to where you'll actually pay them. Like, everyone's fucking appreciating the teachers, but nobody pays them. They just don't get paid. And, you know, fucking parents are the worst, too. Like, being a teacher and having to deal with parents... He's a piece of shit kid. He was like constantly fucking up and just doesn't care. And then their parents are like, why did they get an F in this class? And it's like, they didn't do it. And it's like, you need to fix that. Like it's your fault as the teacher. 
man. But there's also, like, to be fair, there's a lot of piece of shit teachers, too. I feel like there's two types of teachers. I feel like you have the teachers where they, like, really care about their job and they put in effort. Well, actually, there's three. So you have those. And then you have the ones that, like, maybe at one point did have some kind of passion. But just the years of the late nights and the, the agony of the job has gotten to them and they are just dead inside. That's type two. And then the third type is the teachers who are just, like, they wanted to be something else. They failed at it. And then teaching was their backup plan. And they just want to, like, have power over people. I had a lot of those teachers when I was in school. Teachers that just, like, wanted to have power over children. My mom's friend was pregnant, got punched in the stomach by an eight-year-old, uh, shoved the kid away, and then got sued by the parents. What the fuck? Dude. They have the, uh, the baby, like, on the stand, being like, yep, yeah, I, I definitely got shoved. Little infant. Dude, that's so fucked. Yeah, they, there's always, like, lawsuits. You ought to about worry about being sued as a teacher, too. Like, if I said- if I was a teacher and I said, <laughs> I said half the shit I've said in the last two streams to my students, <laughs> my life would be over. My life would be so fucking over. I remember I had a teacher um, when I was in fifth grade, he showed us National Lampoon's Christmas, which is a rated R Christmas movie, and that's a no-no. Uh, especially in this state, parents don't take too kindly to that. Which I, which I always found so funny and, like, jarring. Like, how adults, when you're a kid, adults will, like, try to be so sensitive to you, and they'll be like, Oh, we better not swear in front of the child. Well, let's make sure we get permission from the parents to watch this R-rated movie. But then, like... And then kids, like, around parents will be like, Oh, yes, I'm an innocent little child. But you talk to your friends, and you're, like, saying fuck, and... That guy's a piece of shit. You know, like, watching porn. And kids are not nearly as innocent as people think they are. I feel, yeah, I feel like it's just a, a charade by parents. Make them feel better about themselves a lot of the time. Like, I'm a good influence on my kid. Like, no, you're not. All parents are fucked up, and that's okay. But, uh, I'm glad I was not born in the generation where I was, in, like, an iPad kid. I can't even imagine. Like, I was born kind of on the, the cusp of that. Like, I, I saw the evolution of it, like, while I was in school. Um, and I didn't get a smartphone until I, I was, like, 14 or 15. How old were you when, when you were born? I was, like, 70 when I was born. Hence why I'm in my 90s. Fine iPad kid. You know, the, the, the fucking snot nosed kids that, uh, the parents would just like fuck off. You're like, uh, give an iPad to. You. And just like let it be their babysitter, I guess. Babysit my child, Tim Cook. But. Well, I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe, like, I feel like until you're, like, 16, you shouldn't be on the internet. <laughs> it's so much. It's so much just stimulation. It's crazy. I think it, it's completely fucked up a generation of humans. It's, like, it's crazy. 
And you're a kid, if you like if you're born with it, you don't appreciate it. I mean, I don't appreciate it either. I'm a piece of shit too. But just like think about like how fucking incre we have godlike technology. We're apes with godlike technology. We really are. Our brains are no different. We still have like primitive monkey brains. But we have all this sophisticated shit that we can't utilize properly. Like it's such like a crazy like huge innovation in technology and the human race as a whole but then like 40% of it we just, we just used to jack off like that's crazy <laughs> that's insane what, isn't it like something like 40% of the internet is porn it's some number like that it might be more even Like, if... It, I don't know. If aliens are observing us, they probably think they're like, what the f... Are they stupid? <laughs> What's wrong with them? <laughs> they have access to a library of Alexandria at their fingertips, and they're just fucking jacking off. What the hell? Have anyone ever told you you sound exactly like Scott Jund? I do not know who that is. A oh, red chest? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're so right. Thank goodness we have that technology, too, because the odds of me meeting anyone I can relate to in a person... Ooh! It's gone. ...are growing down at a terrifying rate each day. I mean, like, if you ever look at videos of, like, high schools in the 90s... Like, there, there are videos on YouTube where it's, like, uh... Final day, graduation, 1999. Those kids have so much fucking charisma. It's crazy. Like, people were so much more social back then. I feel like we, we don't know how to interact anymore. It's like, oh, I have a phone. I'll just fucking hold my phone whenever I feel weird in any situation. God forbid I'd be uncomfortable. And I'm fucking... I'm guilty of that. I'm very guilty of that. I'm, like, the most socially awkward person. <laughs> the adult pacifier? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was like a... What the hell am I looking at? You have a horn on your eye? That's crazy, man. You should get that checked out. Just take shrooms and cure your social autism. I wish it was that easy. I, when you take shrooms, you have... <laughs> you have so much. Like, it doesn't cure it immediately. In fact, if you ever, like, do shrooms and you try to take, talk to somebody, you sound like a fucking idiot. Like, in your head, it'll be, like, very profound. You are know, like, oh my god, I understand the meaning of the universe. And you try to explain it to someone, you're like, bleh, 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 bleh. You know, They're like, what the hell? The hell is this guy talking about? I've never done streams. Most people haven't. Um, I mean, they are scary. Like, I completely understand. I don't expect anyone to really be able to relate to that. Um, but man. My mom told me I should try shrooms. Don't be fucking, don't be fucking watching my stream and be like, Mommy, Mommy, this YouTuber told me I should take shrooms. And be like, what? He said what? <laughs> you can't watch him anymore, son. Just drop acid and say, no, acid's fucked. As acid will fuck you up. Have I ever told my my acid story on stream. I don't know that I have on YouTube. I think I told it when I was on Twitch. Um, I have one acid story. This is like... I'm a really boring person. Like, I don't do shit. This is the one interesting story I have. Um, it was when I was in high school. 
It's like my junior year of high school. It was during the summer. Um, and a bunch of my friends were like, yo, let's do some acid. Uh, and go camping. So, like, we found this spot in northern Utah. It's called Fremont Park. Um, and it's so shitty. Uh, we, like, leave to go to this campsite, right? It's like a three-hour drive. Um, and we get there, and my friend made a reservation in this campsite. But, like, the name wasn't on the piece of paper on the campsite um, we were supposed to have. But it, it said, like, the person, the next person wouldn't be there till, like, 6 in the morning the next day. So we were like, yo, we can just kind of squat here tonight and uh, leave very early in the morning. So we, like, set up the tents, like, do marshmallows and all that shit. And then we wake up at, like, 5. Um, and we, like, take down the tents. And we... That's when four out of the six of us drop acid. We do a tab. And... It takes a bit for it to kick in, so we're like, alright, we gotta get out of here, let's see what's around the park. And there's just fucking nothing. There's this one, like, little exhibit, it's called the Hundred Hands Cave, where it was like, I guess a bunch of Native Americans left handprints on this cave, and it's called the Hundred Hand Cave, but then, like, there's a little plaque next to it, and uh, you read the plaque, and it says, although called the Hundred Hand Cave, it's only 31 hands, and it's like, what the, it, it was fucking clickbait. Um... And there's just, like, no hikes, basically. Um, just nothing to do. Like, you had to be on acid to enjoy it. And just nothing was happening. But then, like, all of a sudden... Like... Everyone's... Dropping balls. Tripping balls on acid. And then, we're, like, looking. We're on, like, kind of a high-rise. Like, we can see the highway. And we're just, like, on a side road. That's observing the highway. And then we see this car going like 140 miles an hour and it crashes into a tree like maybe 100 yards away from us and then we see like two cop cars and then four and then like the entire state is down there just like suddenly in this park and we're a bunch of high school kids on acid and we're like oh what the, what, what the fuck do we do and so eventually like one of my sober friends like hides us in a cave for a while uh, and then we come out of the cave, and there's still, like, cops fucking everywhere. And our sober friend didn't have his license on him, which which was really smart. So, for a bit, one of my friends who was on acid, like, fucking drove down the road past these cops. <laughs> it was a fucking disaster. Uh, we got out of there okay. I had a friend who, like, was not doing well. Like, he was not the same after. Acid will fuck you up. Don't do acid. Like, the, this comes with, like, a huge disclaimer. Like, acid will fuck you. I've had friends that have had horrible experience. I had a friend who did acid, and he had ego death. Like, he forgot who he was for, like, two months. He had to relearn who he was. He was a completely different person afterward. Imagine doing intense psychedelics with no plan at all. Yeah. We're dumb kids, but, uh... Definitely, when you do psychedelics, you want to be in a safe environment. And not in, uh, Fremont, Utah. <laughs> Which is how I became a furry, funnily enough. I missed the first part of that, hold on. <laughs> My own sober mind uh, did that on its own in February last year, and that's how I became a furry. Nice. Uh, my co-worker has been watching Salvia videos for like a month, but won't do it because he is scared of living 1,000 years in a dream. Or a hundred years. I've, okay, so I've never done the salvia, but I've heard it's horrible. Like, it's a drug that you take, and you don't get high from it. Like, you hallucinate, but you don't think you're hallucinating. Like, my dad took it one time, and he was telling me his salvia experience was he was in the basement, and uh, he took salvia, and then he, was, he just convinced himself that he had, like, these vines that were growing out of him, and they were just, like, reaching 
very far and like the neighbors were getting tangled up in the vines and he was convinced the neighbors were going to come talk to him and get mad at him <laughs> because he's sprouting vines and he fucking believed it because he, he wasn't high he j you just go insane like that that's the drug where like people will, will stab you that shit scares me I don't want the neighbors to get tangled up in my vines, my roots. Get acid in a graveyard. Worst trip ever had. Thought the Grim Reaper was chasing. That was one of the two reasons I've never done acid again and never will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard that's that's a very common thing. Uh, I had a friend who did acid in a graveyard. He saw like a demon. He saw the devil, basically. Um, and he was Christian, and it like scared the fuck out of him. Completely different person. It fucks people. It really does. And shrooms can too, but like shrooms are are different. Like, I don't know. I kind of trust shrooms more because acid is, like, made by some guy in a lab and you don't really know what the fuck it is. But shrooms come from the earth. Like, they're very natural. A lot of cultures use them. Like, Native Americans weren't dropping acid. They just weren't. But, like, they do shrooms. Like, ayahuasca is still used in a lot of cultures. Which I think ayahuasca is the one where you, like, drink a liquid and you get really sick and you throw up. But then you trip balls. Is that Mario? Uh, yeah, it is. But I don't know. Like mushrooms are so weird. They do so many different things, right? Some taste good. Some will kill you. Some give you psychedelic experiences. Like so strange. So much we don't know about mushrooms. All right. <laughs> I feel like uh, I've been kind of different, a different energy this year with my streams. I'm liking it. I, th I feel like I've been more real recently. Man, it's been a long time since I've just, like, gone off on a tangent like that and just lost track of time when I was streaming. This is fun. How much is an acid tab, like, cost-wise? I wouldn't be able to tell you. Um, nor would I recommend doing it, honestly. Like, and, and if you're buying it off the street, too, um, a lot of times it won't actually be acid. It'll be fake. Like, unless you test it, you can't really be certain. Buying drugs on the street is, uh, it's pretty dangerous. You shouldn't do it. But with shrooms, you can, like, you can buy spores. It's not illegal to sell spores. It's illegal to, like, have shrooms, but, like, psychedelic mushroom spores, like, don't technically have anything illegal in them. So you can buy them for research purposes, but nobody's fucking doing that. What if I buy drugs from my dear old grandfather? You could. I've bought in drugs from... Uh, family members before. I will not say which ones. My dad's weed was the best. You gotta get that Papa Kush, man. It's the best. Okay. 
Okay, I think I'm kind of at the point where I don't need to worry about money anymore. I just keep going. I don't know what the goal here is anymore. I guess I'm still just trying to get an ICBM. Just chatting. Does everyone in Utah do drugs because of how boring it is there? <laughs> um, the people I know generally do, but uh, no, I think most people here are high on God. Which is probably better, but I, I don't know if it's as fun. What do you think is in a soldier syringe? Probably like black tar heroin. Something crazy. Get blue portal. Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm just on autopilot. Good night, disputed. Night, hams. Have a good one, man. Buy hams beer. Absolutely. meth that speeds you up. <laughs> I mean, fucking pharmaceutical companies sell that shit. I mean, I my ADHD medication is basically just speed. I don't get high from it. Um, I've been taking it since I was eight years old. Isn't that crazy? I've been on this medication since I was fucking eight. And uh, I got a new doctor recently. And... He was like pulling teeth trying to get my prescription. I'm like, dude, I can't function unless I have it. He's like, oh, so you're addicted? That's like, I'm not addicted. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean I'm addicted? I've been on it since I was eight years old. You did this to me. Your fucking medical system did this. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. It's like, Come on, man. Give me my drugs. I mean, doctors at this point are just... High-class drug dealers. They are. I have HUD. Oh, you're right. I mean... What the fuck does it matter at this point? I can have any equipment. Probably, like, I should look for a recycler. I really am not relying on fireworks anymore. Hmm. What do we got? Nice. It's the unfortunate side of the medical system. I'd really love for us to restructure how we deal with medical needs. So they've changed over time. Dude, it's fucked up to me. Like, I, I have a friend with depression, and they struggle with it a lot. And they're like, put on all this SSRI and shit, but it's like, not once has their doctor been like, hey, have you tried meditating? That might help you. And it's like, why is that not what we should be doing first? Like, I feel like putting somebody on a drug is the last thing we should be doing. Um, like, I went to the doctor last month, and I get, uh, seasonal depression. It's very mild, but, like, they do a screener, and they, like, they make you answer the questions. And I just said, oh, I've been kind of sad a couple days of the week. And I'd see him, and he's like, so you've been depressed? Are you thinking of killing yourself? And I was like, no. First of all, I'm not. But even if I was, I wouldn't tell you, because you're gonna fucking bring a bunch of people in, and you're gonna fucking commit me to a ward if I say that. Um, but then he was like, okay, do you need anything for it? And it's like, what do you mean? Do I need anything? No, <laughs> no. Don't drug me up. I don't know. I think sometimes it's like... We always see depression as a really bad thing, but I think... And it is a lot of the time, like, if it's... Chronic depression, and you have it all the time, but... Like, depression is... Your body's way of telling you something's wrong. Like, your needs are not being met in some way, usually. 
And I think there are ways you can deal with it without, like, being fucked up on some kind of drug. I think it's the, a product of the environment a lot of the time. But we're very quick to just, like, put people on, on drugs. Health is all about money in this country. It is. It's like, eat your fast food. That's basically poison. And then we will sell you the cure to the poison. Like, other first world countries don't really have this problem. Like, even fast food in, like, Europe. Like, if you get McDonald's in Europe, it's the same shit. It is not nearly as unhealthy as it is in the United States, because we have all the- They have all the fucking regulations. They're you know, like, hey, don't put, like, fucking... <laughs> don't put poison into the food. But in America, it's like, yeah, fucking well, whatever in there. Put all of the chemicals in there. But what are you going to do? Not changing anytime soon. Oh my god. Okay. I gotta be careful. Yikes. Hmm. I need to look for a scrapper. I should have printed some watches when there was that printer. No, uh, the Templars are terrifying. They can end my run in a fucking second. Mm. I found 15 overloading worms in my KFC fried chicken once. Yeah, that's the, the Colonel's iconic recipe. But worms in it. I love this, like, uh, fast food. Like, myth. I don't know if they're mints, but, like, somebody finding a, a rat in their Wendy's sandwich. I think that one was, like, fake. They're usually fake. It's usually just somebody, like, trying to do a lawsuit. It's like a rag in a Jollibee sandwich or something. Those are fun. A rat, you say? I'm logging in. I've heard that a communist made report of how it's actually cheaper to adopt for the US free healthcare, but lobbyists need that big pharma money. Yeah. Absolutely. And this is like... This is going to sound really conspiratorial, but like, you see like the, the, all the anti-vax shit, right? Um, I'm not an anti-vaxxer, but... <laughs> I think it's crazy, like, how, like, stigmatized that is, I guess. Like, why, like, nobody, everyone knows Big Pharma is full of shit. But, like, when it comes to vaccines, like, all of a the sudden, they're always honest and are not shady. It's like, no. <laughs> it's probably good to, like, check them and question what they're doing. I don't know. I think, like, the whole, like, media... I, I, I wonder about that. Like, the whole media push against anti-vaxxers is, like, is that... Is that real? I feel like that might be big pharma influence. Because most people I talk to don't really give a shit. And agree with me. They say, yeah, big pharma are assholes. I don't trust them. But all of a sudden, when it's vaccines, it's like, yeah... They're reputable.
But I don't know. I, I don't believe most conspiracies, but, like, sometimes there are ones where I'm like, eh. I can see it. I can see it. I got vaccinated, and now I'm autistic. Nice. Dude, that's what you fucking want, dude. Being autistic... That's like a superpower. No, it really is. Like... I feel like you look the best at anything. The best person in any field... They probably have, like, some kind of autism. Really. That's really what it is. And I think, like, autism is... Probably gonna be, like our most valuable resource at some point. Like, in a world where, like, we're becoming, like, more machine, machine-oriented, everything is, like, technologically. Technologically, technology is advancing really fast, right? You know, maybe it's good to have people that think like machines, too. I think it's good to have a little bit of the the tism, honestly. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Not everyone has the coder autism, though. That is true. You have the coder autism, and you have the <laughs> the Christian kind. <laughs> you know, you don't want the Christian kind. I mean, it's brutal. Has anyone ever seen Love on the Spectrum? Autistic guys get so shafted in the dating market. It's so sad. It's like the... <laughs> that show is crazy. I love that show so much, <laughs> but it's also like... It's kind of... It's funny in a way. <laughs> it's like, yeah, let's go film them. <laughs> and whose fucking idea was that? That's why I don't use dating apps to... Too many, or lack of a better term, normies. I need someone as cool and as autistic as I am. Yeah, I mean, dating apps are so shit. Especially if you're a guy. But that's like... It sucks, that's... Where most people meet now, though. And it's like, I've talked to so few people that have met through dating apps that have actually had a lasting relationship. Uh, there, there are a couple. I, I won't say it fails all the time, but... I don't know. I feel like it, it has a lower success rate, certainly. Having niche interests makes dating hard. Oh, I know. <laughs> like, hey, baby, you ever heard of Risk of Rain 2? No. What is it? Is it like Mario? And I was like, yes, it's exactly like Mario. Like trying to explain a roguelike to, to somebody that has played very few video games is a nightmare. Like I was talking about this a little bit yesterday, but um, last year I uh, went and I visited my grandma and I... I played cards with her and all her old lady friends, and it was very fun. Um, but my grandma was like, he's a YouTuber. He plays video games. And they're like, oh, what video games do you play? And I'm like, uh, you wouldn't know it. And he's like, oh, you'd be surprised. And I was like, you ever heard of Risk of Rain 2? And it's like, no, what is that? I've, I've played Mario. And it's like, oh, God. <laughs> it's... <laughs> I, w I wish my grandma did, did not know my YouTube channel. 
What is gooning? Why is why are you talking about gooning? Oh god. <laughs> Please. My grandma, I think she told me, he plays an old man character. And it's like, no, don't say that. <laughs> Please don't say that. Yeah, I got death mark today. Ugh. Dude, that guy will not die. But yeah. Anyway. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Moral of the story is I got laid that night, and uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Grandma knows about your goon cave. <laughs> Your gram, not my gram, her friends. <laughs> Don't say my granny is caked. She's a, a wonderful lady. There we go. I should be hitting blue portals. <laughs> yeah, man, that's like. I mean, grannies want to fuck, too. Her friends were caked up? I almost just died there. Holy shit. If I didn't have raincoat, I probably would be. Oh. Ah, shit. Are you, like... You're in here, in here. Shit. Okay. Alright, let's just get out. Have I done builds this run? I have not. Raincoat best item confirmed? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh, shit. Hello. You good? <laughs> I love when the Imp Overlords do that. What is my favorite sediment? Uh, I don't know. I'm more of a an igneous kind of guy. Like some good old uh, Ohio shale. Best thing to ever come out of Ohio. Got some good shale. Ugh. Really? I keep getting Wungus. That's the only void item I get. More fireworks, nice. Uh, he's a fake rock fan? Nah, man, I love Dwayne. He's great. So is it... Is Ro The Rock still the highest paid actor? I think I read somewhere that he was, which is interesting to me. Because he's not even, like... Not an actor. And he is now, I guess, but... He's a wrestler. <laughs> why, why does he get paid so much? Why does he get paid more than, like, fucking Leonardo DiCaprio? Just because he's massive? They have to pay him per square inch. He's in Overwatch now? No fucking way. The Rock's in Overwatch? Holy shit. Dollars per pound of muscle? Mm-hmm. Per percentage of body fat he doesn't have. Oh my god. Leo was on the Epstein list. Oh yeah, that came out, didn't it? Hmm. Interesting. Well, isn't that like a, a kind of what he's known for? I don't like pay attention to celebrities at all, but isn't like Leo kind of 
known for dating younger women. That's not surprising. Oh my god. I mean, the character he played in Moana is basically the same as the new hero. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Um. I don't. Should I? I feel like. Eh. <laughs> am I gonna fight Mythric soon? What am I doing? I mean, I've only gone for like two and a half hours. I can probably go a little longer. Do a few more loops. Okay. Um. Please, give me ICBM. ICBM is actually probably going to break my game here. Oh, okay. Tesla's not too bad. Where are all the void items? It's my question. Do they exist? Okay. Um, where am I going? Oh yeah, I was gonna hit the blue portal, but I don't I think it's in the cave and the cave is not open. So I need to just get out of here, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna spawn this thing. I haven't done this in like two loops, but I'm hoping this will like take care of the crabs. Get rid of them. Hmm. They delayed the release list because it had implications about some of our colleagues or whatever. Well, whose colleagues? Wait, what? There's no way that's the actual reason they gave. It had implications about some of our colleagues. It's literally out right now, like three hours ago. Holy shit. No way. Read it live? <laughs> We're not doing that. I don't want to get sued, dude. I have to fucking get shot. <laughs> no fucking way. I get shot immediately. Or sued, which is worse, yeah. John Hope, who's on the list. John Hope, who's not on the list. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, whatever. Guess I'm gone. Yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm going to mysteriously commit suicide in the middle of this run. I actually, is that gonna, like, demonetize me? I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> I'm not actually going to. That was a... That was a joke. <laughs> I don't think nobody's fucking watching. <laughs> nobody's watching. Fucking CEO of YouTube who's in the chat is like, yo, you're done, buddy. You're done. Clipped? Yeah, it's if you use the YouTube clip feature, it's going nowhere. It won't if you're Markiplier. Oh, did he did he commit suicide? That's tragic. Well, but also, it won't if your Markiplier is. Like, he, he. Markiplier gets away with a lot of shit. So, I'm not surprised. He's just YouTube's darling. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah. And then there's me, who has zero connections at YouTube.
what did he get away with? I don't know. Ugh. What, like, when you're a certain channel size, YouTube just does not care, I think. I mean, like, if you're, like, out there and you're, like, being really controversial. And that's, like, what your platform is, is just being controversial. I think they, they're hard on you, but I've never, like... The only video I've ever had that got demonetized was my Wooly Gaming diss track. <laughs> Which is fair. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do put up a, a picture of Osama Bin Laden. That's a rare video. That's, not, that's unlisted. It was uh, an April Fool's joke a couple years ago. I, uh, I basically, it was just like a slideshow of like various people while I ate chips in the background. It was a good video. Some of my best work, honestly. Okay. Um. Mm. Alright, what do you guys think? One more loop? One in the chat if I should do one more loop. Two if I should just fight Mithrix. I feel like I should keep going. I feel like I should keep going. Oh, well, there's a couple twos in there. I think it's primarily ones, though. I mean, hey, okay. Let's do a, a proper pull, because there's more twos than I thought. Um, oh wait, we gotta close the last one. End pull, okay. And then we go... Loop, question mark. There we go, new pull up. Stop the count. <laughs> this pool was rigged. This pool was stolen. We need to check the voting machines. No way, Arizona. <laughs> no way, Arizona flipped. That's actually close. 52% no? Really? You guys realize, if I fight Mithrix, the stream is going to end. You guys realize that, right? Just want to make sure you guys have all the information. There we go. <laughs> now it's a yes. <laughs> what I thought. Oh, it's going back down. Dude, it's so close. Yo, Nutty, thank you for the six months of grandchild. Shut the heck up and enjoy the chat. Thank you very much. I will. I have been tonight. You guys have been cool. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. 53%? I did not expect it to be that close. <laughs> After you're like, God, please end it. It's 3 a.m. Get off my computer. I don't have the... the energy to turn off the stream. But I do have the energy to vote no and tell you to end it. Okay. Okay, I guess they're just dying. Pretty nice. Ugh, stop. Oh no. Please. Ugh. The quails are screwing with me. Are you also R&D Thursday? I love you, R&D. 
Is R&D in the chat or something? Where'd that come from? I am actually bully gaming though. That is true. Oh my god, please stop. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, god damn it. <laughs> R&D uh, came back for like two weeks and uh, seemed like he's gone again now, but who knows? Hopefully he comes back. I was hoping uh, I could get a collab in with him before he left again. I have yet to do that. He's elusive. Pandas are getting endangered. True. Very true. I feel like we'd get along. I feel like we have, um... Kind of similar, similar senses of humor. Outside of like bingo last year, not even last two years ago, 2022 bingo. Um, I have not done anything with him, which is a shame. I also I think it'd be cool to get him to like cast for a race. He hasn't beaten Eclipse Eight on everybody, so I don't think he would be up to race probably. Um, if he did, we'd let him, but I think it'd be a cool if he casted one. I think he knows he's invited. He should. Now we have to expect a diss track. He did, like, clap back at me pretty hard. You guys see my community post? Damn, I was not expecting the response. I did the same thing to race like two months ago, and like, dude was so scared. I scared the dude shitless. He, race never responded to my community post. I do it to R and D, but and he claps back. Same day. Holy shit! I should do. Uh, I should do. <laughs> you should do one where it's like um, Eminem kill shot, but instead of like, um, what's it? What's his name? Machine Gun Kelly's face. It's just a panda, like in the crosshair. It'd be funny if you read the list on stream. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to read the list on stream. Because also, isn't it like... It's not even necessarily confirmed pedophiles. It's like people that are related to the case. Like, it includes victims. And I guess other people that were on the island for business purposes. <laughs> and were, are not involved, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna do some business at the pedophile island. Don't get the wrong idea. What? Did the list drop? Apparently it did like three hours ago. You can check it out after the stream. Okay, we have a, a newt here, gonna make sure to hit this, and then I'm just gonna do this early. I have not been paying attention to the gameplay for the past, like, two hours. <laughs> Mario is zooming, he is. Look at the fire, the fireworks were like the best decision I ever made in this run. I probably would have lost if I hadn't done that. Now, the Void Band one is maybe a little bit questionable at this point. I mean, okay, wait. Yeah. Okay, FMP is kind of cool at this point. It's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, oh, I have Soulbound, too. I got a full FMP build. Even Jim Carrey was on the list. Really? Holy shit. Stephen Hawking. <laughs> yeah. You know he cheated on his wife? Which is, which is... That's pretty crazy.
I saw something like that. Don't quote me on that. Hmm. I'm trying to decide whether this is, like, bad to talk about. Like, we should actually move on. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's, like, YouTube's weird. I remember, like, people were censoring the word Corona during the pandemic. Does anybody remember that? Like, YouTubers censoring the word Corona in videos? That's like, what the f- why? You're not allowed to talk about it? <laughs> what the fuck? You're not allowed to talk about the coronavirus? That's, how, like, how you know it was 2020. Remember when people called it the coronavirus? That was crazy, man. It's like, I remember Mario Speedrunner. There's a level in Mario Sunshine called uh, Corona Mountain. And they fucking... They would call it other shit, and it's like... Dude, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. You can't say the word Corona on YouTube. <laughs> what the fuck? Everyone on the platform is just supposed to be like, Oh, everything is fine. There's no, there's no pandemic. What pandemic? Shut up. <laughs> I don't even think that was real. I think that was just like, people got scared. Like, one person probably said, if you say Corona in your video, YouTube will destroy your channel. And then everyone's like, oh my god. I better do what they say. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Imagine if you had chat on while you played like Wooly, the fire combos that would make it into your vid. True. I mean, I've thought about doing that. I think it's a... a good idea. I need to like... figure some shit out with the stream. I want to get like a soundboard going too. Acrid is on the list? Holy shit. Dude. He's been gooning to some horrible things. Oh god. What have you been gooning to, Acrid? Oh my god, no. It can't be. Can't believe I actually caught a stream, W. Hell yeah, man. Every Monday through Friday, I'm gonna be here. Oh. Yeah, you don't fucking... <laughs> you don't get this shit in a... In Wooly's stream. You get people talking about fucking Epstein. And mushrooms and school shootings. <laughs> what, you, you, you expect me to act professional? Come on. It's weird, right? Because I try to be really professional in, like, my top 10 videos and stuff, like... I try to make it look as legit as possible. I'm like, I have it scripted out, so I sound kind of smart. But then, uh, when it's this, it's just... <laughs> it's just crazy. I don't have a filter. If you posted this unedited, it'd be your top viewed vid. I mean, it is going up unedited. But yeah, I mean, I am recording. I might make it into a video. Who knows? I feel like uh, all the streams this year have been pretty damn good. Been happy with them. Ba -da 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 I'm basically, I'm just your fucking weird uncle at Thanksgiving. He just talks about crazy shit, and you're like, okay, you wacky guy. You wacky dude. All three streams this year, yeah. Probably more than I streamed <laughs> last year. No, that's not true. Every year, I like... I, I want to try to get a little bit more stuff out. Like, that's one thing I've really struggled with. Like... People who stay really consistent on YouTube, and I think it's maybe just ADHD. 
Like, I, n things don't hold my attention for that long. Like, I'll get, I'll have phases where I'll get really into making content at YouTube, and I'll, like, go hard on it, and then I'll be like, eh, I want to do something else. Which is usually just gooning, but, um, I don't know. I want to see if I can challenge myself this year. Just stay focused on it. But, uh, I don't understand how people do it. Posting a video every week is like, what? How? How? Every week, man? You should quit. <laughs> I hate watching you. You know what, man? You're right. That's like the best way to stay consistent. Just consistently be absent. First time catching you live, Goon on, brothers. Hell yeah, man. The Goon at Nash. Represent. Gooner Nation. Okay. Hopefully last time catching you live. Damn, dude. You don't have to be here. No one's forcing you. My father is consistently absent. I knew someone was going to make that joke. I fucking... I, f I knew it. Oh my god, there's a scrapper. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, Steak... Kind of disrespectful, but it's okay. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. You. Keep the fireworks. I mean, the stun was actually kind of nice, but... It's cheese. Bop. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. No. No. Fusion's all right. Whip, don't really need. Actually, brooches were kind of cool, but that's fine. Keep the elixirs. Bears are alright. Alright. Yeah, that's... That's more than enough, I think. That's more than enough. That scab bag was not opened. I don't care. What's my favorite flavor of rock? Uh, Probably sedimentary. Yeah. They have layers. Dear God for Scrapper in a nearly three hour run moment. I think it's probably the Chance Shrines. Or just making it a lower spawn. We had one stage one though. That's the only other one I remember seeing. But I'm sure there have been some that I've just missed. Ooh, look at that. I need a death mark. I have so many debuffs now. That prolapse. Kind of going off. Ow. Alright, I just throw my FMP down. I've got that soul bound. That's nice. Ooh, safer space. Finally, dude. Man, okay. Yeah, I got rid of my stun. <laughs> that was not a good idea. <laughs> I realized it. As it happened there, I was like, dude, I can't stun these guys. I got rid of, like, all my good shit. Oh, well. It is what it is. Templars, man. They're such a <laughs> threat when you loop. <laughs> I should have just fucking... Bought Mithrix. I would have been fine. I immediately get safer spaces and then just eat shit. Anyway, maybe maybe we'll we'll fight Mithrix tomorrow. Maybe we'll be good enough. I don't know. But uh, thank you guys for watching today. It's been a, a good stream. I will see you back here tomorrow for some more Risk of Rain gaming. Hope everyone enjoyed. Had a lot of fun. It's probably one of my favorite streams I've ever done. I feel like everyone was very chill here today. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for all the the memberships, the donations, everything like that. Very much appreciated. Hope you have a good one. Alright. Ta-ta for now.